Hi, my name's Bill. I'm from Belfast, Northern Ireland in the United Kingdom. I'm very happy to be called Irish. And I would like to share with you something of my faith-based journey of recovery. My first poem is called The Man Who Ran Away From Himself. Please just bear with me as I read from my book. The Man Who Ran Away From Himself. Mental illness was a certainty, though few saw it coming. The man in question was running away from himself. When the running ceased, the pain began denumbing him, sobering. What can I say? An expose of one man's lunacy. Now having turned, he is running in the opposite way. I was admitted in 1983 to psychiatric hospital. Within a few days I realised that if a man in a business suit with a briefcase filled with a million pounds came into the ward and he gave me the money, it wasn't going to make me well. So I started to think, how can I become more well or how can I become a on a journey of recovery. I want to say to you that through faith in Jesus I have gained insights such as the fact that some nursery rhymes, in fact many nursery rhymes, have meaning. One of the most wonderful times I had on a hospital psychiatric ward was with a young agency nurse who took the time to talk to me about how when she was a child at school, she found meaning in nursery rhymes. What a delight she was, because I at 40 years of age had just discovered that some nursery rhymes have indeed meaning. I would like to share with you that as I journeyed, I realized that there is light at the end of the tunnel and that there is hope for everyone who experiences what is called mental illness. This poem is called Hope. Hope, it is said that at the darkest hour, sorry, it is said that the darkest hour is just before dawn. In a similar vein, growth and change can be gained at the moments of greatest pain. And what I would like to share with you is that I have personally found that if I can face my emotional and mental turmoil, that in those moments of greatest pain, if I face it and don't run away from it, if I learn from the pain, I can actually come through and my recovery is increased. And then just one final poem, which I psychiatrist in Sweden called Cecilia Brain said is the finest little short anecdote she's ever read on recovery. It goes like this. Recovery. Wellness. Living with illness. It's important that we as service users and people who are diagnosed with mental health problems are heard, but it's also important that we also listen. Thank you.